into Denny's body just after 10 o'clock this morning in a field in Madisonville. Now that's not far from a gas station parking lot where the 26 year old was last seen Saturday with Jonathan Nall. Nall is also from Mobile and involved in a two hour standoff with deputies later that night. They say he held a gun to his head and threatened to kill himself. After he was taken into custody, authorities discovered that Denny was missing. An autopsy is now underway to determine the cause of her death. The St. Tammany Parish Sheriff says he is confident that Nall will ultimately be charged with killing Melinda Denny. A veteran is slowly recovering tonight after being attacked and burglarized in his home Tuesday night. We first told you about what happened to Daphne resident Robert Hubert yesterday. Yeah, police are still looking for the crooks. And as Fox 10 News reporter Will Robinson Smith explains, it's taking a while for Hubert to bounce back. It's been a rough couple of days for veteran Robert Huber. His daughter Kim McLemore says things weren't so bad in the beginning. That night when my sister and I got here, you know, I was just so thankful, you know, dad was dad. You know, he was hurt, but not to an extreme. Time heals many wounds, but not as quickly when you're 75. Now, you know, he's not doing quite as well, and we just got to get his strength back, um, you know. After you fall and get hit, you know, you become a little more bruised and sore and, you know, you're older, you know, you don't pop back quite as quick. And, you know, so we just do a lot of praying, you know, that he'll be fine. McLemore says her father is now on oxygen 24-7. She and her sister care for him along with a home health nurse. She says it's important that he's able to live at home. He loves his home and, you know, we don't want to take him out of that. You know, he, he deserves it, you know. So, you know, we work with that. McLemore and her family have done a number of things to make sure her dad is safer in his home. For example, they've installed security. Neighbors say they didn't see much, but their hearts go out to him. I mean, I feel sorry for the man, but I don't know as far as seeing anything. I would have never known till the police knocked on the door. His daughters did buy him a new TV, but they can't buy his health back. But I just want him to be back the way he was. And that will just take time and prayers. And Daphne Will Robinson Smith, Fox 10 News. Um, and certainly our thoughts and prayers with that family. A police say they are following some leads in this case, but they need your help to make an arrest. So if you have any information that could help, call Daphne Police. The three